What's up everyone? I'm Fimula Taku. Happy St. Patrick's Day. And I'm here to review episode 11 of Boku Dake Gai Inai Machi. Now, I've been chatting with you anime onlys for the past week now and mainly for the past couple of hours too on Twitter. And a lot of you guys, of you anime onlys, okay, manga readers? <laughs> manga readers, oh boy, we'll talk. We will talk towards the end of the video, manga readers, okay? But a lot of the anime onlys are starting to see a dip in quality, intention, and everything like that. Some anime onlys, of course, you know, they're enjoying and everything and stuff. I can see why. That's understandable, okay? So I understand why some anime onlys are also enjoying the series for what it is, but a lot of you seem more disappointed in the route that it's going. So when it came to this episode, and I knew what was gonna happen this episode, I was like, okay, sweet. They're gonna copy everything from the manga. Everything's gonna go swell. They just gotta do this, this, and have that awesome ending. And then bam, we're gonna have that fantastic finale because the other week, last uh, Friday or last Saturday, I made a video about, uh, I, I reviewed the final two chapters of the manga and a lot of you anime onlys, oh man, you kept commenting on that video. You you were all just like, I got, I got stop myself. I can't spoil myself. So, because the title that I had for the video of that manga review, the final two chapters was fantastic journey. So, of course, you anime onlys were like, oh, sweet, this is gonna be great. <sighs> then, then the episode came. <sighs> ah, who? Uh, I made a poll on Twitter, and on the poll I said, I asked the anime onlys uh, how they thought a race episode was today. Most, most people voted Meh. Some people voted EPIC ANIME OF THE YEAR, and then we had a few that uh, voted for getting worse and worse. You see, anime onlys, for those of you who do not know, there was anime original content. And they were doing so well! The anime was doing really, really well. I, I even forgave it for the flaws that was the first episode. Now, of course, just because it has anime original content doesn't mean that it's bad. However, because I've read the manga and the you anime only, you saw the title that I put during my manga for my manga review, I put down Fantastic Journey. It seems that we will not have that fantastic journey. That fantastic end. The beautiful Beautiful conclusion. Nope, we're not gonna have that. It seems that next week, I don't know what's gonna happen. As a manga reader, I'm saying I have no idea what's going to happen next week because of the anime original content at the end. You see, it was doing well. It was being well paced. I was happy because the hospital arc was so slow and very empty uh, in the manga. So I was happy that they were rushing things. At the point where things started to change was when Yashiro Sensei came in and uh, saved Satoru and uh, the cancer girl Kumi-chan from the photographers, the paparazzi, all right? So that's when things changed. You see, that scene did happen, but it wasn't Yashiro. I won't tell you who it was for those of you who are interested in reading the manga, but it wasn't Yashiro. And from there on, that was anime original. That was, you see, when, when Satoru was talking with Yashiro Sensei at the hospital, Yashiro bringing him up to the roof, and then Satoru flat out saying, I've got my memories back. Now, we might still get a pretty good ending. I just don't want people to say this is the best thing ever when they haven't read the manga yet because they have nothing to compare. They're only going off their anime-only status and they, they can't they can't really say that this is the best thing ever when they haven't read the manga. So I, don't, I really hope I don't see any of that. I probably will in the end. Uh, for some people, this is probably still anime of the season, which is fine. That's all good. Like I said, I understand why so many people are enjoying this. It is a fun, a really good, intense anime. I'm just upset because it could have been even greater. 
than this. And now I'm afraid because we might get a terrible ending next week. We might get a flat out average ending next week. But you know what? Let's just stop talking about the manga and the anime and whatever. I want to talk about something really cool. And that was with the opening. <sighs> For those of you who've been a fan of mine since the summer, and if you watched my Gako Guraishi reviews, then you know how much I pay attention to openings. Because I like to analyze openings. And today, this time, if you don't skip the opening, which you really shouldn't, the song in the opening is it, really good, guys. Come on, how could you skip the opening? But with the opening this time, there's always been a lot of symbolism. And a lot of you anime onlys have started to catch on with that symbol symbolism. Like when you see the water coming out from the side of the hallway, that represents when Satoru drowned. Well, this time, Satoru wasn't in the opening at all. He was erased. Roll credits. For those of you who don't know, the uh, literal manga translation to English with the title, because the, the title you know, is called Boku Dake Ga Inaimachi, that literally translates into the town where I'm not there or the town that doesn't have me. So, something around there. So, again, that, that, that's pretty cool how they did that, how Satoru wasn't in the opening at all. I, I really like that. So when I was talking to a lot of you anime onlys on Twitter, some of you were pretty confused uh, when it came to the whole how Satoru was drowning and then suddenly he's in the hospital uh, and he's awake. Uh, I, didn't, I, I didn't realize that that part confused people, but then when I uh, replayed the scenes in my head, I understand why because I left out a couple of details there. So you see, here's what happened. There was no revival. No revival was taking place. Satoru drowned. The police found him unconscious and he was in a coma for 15 years. And when he finally woke up in 2003, he had lost his memories about how he was like this in the first place, like how the whole drowning thing. He doesn't even know that he has revival powers because when he was reading bigger, more adult words, he was questioning like how he was able to know this, but that's because he only has memories of when he was a kid in that one timeline. So yeah, if you're still confused, just, just comment down below. I'll do my best to answer your question. Okay. Now I will talk to the manga readers. So anime only get out of here because I'm about to do a huge rant. Manga readers, we were so close. We were so close! I actually forgave A1 Pictures for that first episode. <sighs> Why? Why do they have to do this? They were doing so well. The pacing was amazing. Everything was gonna go in. And we were gonna have that fantastic ending. <sighs> what is this? They even skipped Yashiro Sensei's motive background story thing. They skipped that. How could they skip that? His, his motive, his murdering root backstory was so interesting. How? Why? Why would they skip? <laughs> they showed a small portion, small portion to the big picture of why he does what he does. They only talked about the whole hamster thing. That's just... You could have cut that out! <laughs> you could have cut that out. Oh, the main part was to show how and why he became a killer. You see, his backstory was so interesting because he was so obvious that he was a killer. But what made it interesting was his backstory. Then we really got to see the true villain that he is. And then that awesome conversation he has back and forth with Satoru in those final two chapters of the manga. We're not gonna get that! <laughs> We're not gonna get it. We're not gonna get it. How did Satoru get his memories back? What triggered it? Either they're gonna make up something or we're gonna see next week that he ended up finding or talking to Airi. Ah, oh. oh, I'm so upset. Why? Why, A1? 
you were doing so well. So well. Uh, I really wish the anime onlys could have seen the full backstory of Yashiro Sensei. This adaptation, it's back to being bad. I thought nothing could be worse than the first episode, but I never thought that we would get anime original scenes. Great, now we don't know what's gonna happen. <sighs> oh well, I suppose. That's what happens when A1 Pictures does an adaptation. Well, catch me later as I review Assassination Classroom Season 2. I'm your female otaku, Sayonara.